Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg from Historic Columbus on a rainy Tuesday morning um, here near the intersection of 10th Avenue and, uh, and 8th Street here in downtown Columbus. I'm next to the old Tom's Foods plant. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with the, the smell of roasted peanuts uh, if you've been in Columbus any length of time. And, uh, and there's still a few peanuts being roasted here today, but the, uh, the Tom's Food plant has been listed for sale. So if you've ever had an inkling or desire to invest in a historic peanut roasting facility, now's the time. You can come purchase this 30 acre uh, site and, um, and have it all to yourself. But um, there are a lot of interesting stories that have resulted out of the, uh, the development of this site. Tom Houston, uh, for which the Houston Peanut Company and the Houston, uh, or Tom's Foods, was named after, was actually born in Texas. He eventually moved to Columbus in, in uh, the early 1900s, about 1912. He invented a peanut shelling device, and, and this was designed to make it easier and faster for farmers to shell their peanuts. And so uh, he contracted with the uh, Columbus Iron Works to develop and produce that uh, device. And he then so turned around and sold it to farmers so that they could increase their production and their yields. Well, as a form of payment in some cases, Mr. Houston would, uh, would take uh, the peanuts. And so he had a lot of peanuts on hand that he needed to find something to do with. And so he started roasting them. He would roast them and salt them and they ended up being a pretty tasty snack when he did some trials around town. And so he wanted to find ways to kind of grow that business, grow that snack business. And he, um, he eventually built this factory building. Uh, some of the first buildings were built in uh, roughly 1927. And it grew from there into a, a major business. It was one of the largest non-textile industries here in Columbus for many, many years. But um, one of the most interesting stories is a partnership between Mr. Houston and George Washington Carver. It was formed um, right after uh, the uh, Tom's Food business was, was started and it was really because Mr. Houston could recognize the need to um, develop better ways to produce additional peanut crops here in the Southeast. Uh, cotton production was starting to, to wane in the Southeast. The cotton was tough to grow. It was hard on the land. It was difficult to, uh, to harvest. And, uh, and it was also being riddled with disease like the cotton boll weevil that was coming through in the 1920s. And so he saw peanut production as a way to diversify crops for the farmers. So they developed um, new ways to, uh, to grow the plant. He partnered up with a man that you're probably familiar with, George Washington Carver. He was stationed at the Tuskegee Institute about 45 miles away from Columbus. He was really an African-American genius and scientist um, who was one of the foremost experts on peanut production. And so the two started writing letters back and forth to find ways to um, increase yields, increase production, and, uh, and find ways to better roast and, and, and produce a good snack product. And, uh, and thus a, uh, a great relationship between the two was born. A lot of that relationship has been captured in letters that were written between the two and are held in the archives at the Columbus State University archives, as well as at the at Tuskegee University archives. And so just recently, this month, a lady named Edith Powell uh, published a book it's called More Than Peanuts, an unlikely partnership between Tom Houston and George Washington Carver was, uh, was written. It's a great book detailing this relationship and is a, uh, a great way to read a little bit more history about the, uh, the, uh, the increased production here in Columbus and really was what was a major economic driver for uh, the Southeast and Columbus at the time. With that, we'll see y'all next Tuesday.